What is up you guys, Pete DiCarlo here, and today we're gonna to be talking about another penny stock that I recently added to my portfolio called Abio Therapeutics, and the ticker symbol is A-B-E-O. Now, I normally don't go around promoting penny stocks. I don't like to usually invest a ton of money into penny stocks or extremely small cap growth companies such as Abio, but I see a lot of upside potential, and I have been buying up a couple of these different companies recently because I think that they're extremely undervalued, and honestly, where we are right now in the market, it is hard to find companies that are undervalued, and I can make a video on that explaining why that's happening and kind of where you can find some deals within the market, but Abio is one that I came across. We're going to do a a brief little breakdown explanation of kind of what they do in this video i am going to link their investor presentation if you are going to take a position in this company i highly recommend you go take a look at it we don't have enough time to break down this company in detail but because i did just purchase this and because it's up 15 percent today i figured i would want to share it with you guys because a lot of people are asking about it so before we get into this hit the like button subscribe to the channel we're almost at 5,000 subs so it really means a lot to me guys thank you for all the support and uh let's get into it so the first thing is overall here let me just make my face a little smaller so you guys can see the screen now overall i usually tell people not to go ahead and invest in a ton of penny stocks or a ton of risky extremely small growth cap i mean it's extremely small growth and small cap stocks essentially because well let's let's backtrack especially if you're older right if you're younger like i'm 32 i'll be 32 in a couple of weeks Overall, investing in these more risky endeavors is not that big of a deal because if you were to lose all of your money, even if it's twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars, which I hope that doesn't happen to you guys, but even if I were to lose all of my money, at the end of the day, it's not that big of a deal. I can completely rebuild everything that I've saved, everything that I've invested. I can get all of that back. That's really not a problem to me. When it becomes a problem is if you're, for instance, like, you know, 55, 65, you're thinking about retiring soon. You should have personally, I think about 30, 40% of your money probably in bonds, even though you're not going to get huge returns, but something safer, or at least a well-diversified long-term, you know, blue chip portfolio because if you lose everything you have at the age of like 60, 65, like you're, you're screwed, unfortunately. Um, you might not be able to retire. Now, remember, I am not a financial advisor. I did not go to school for this. This is just what works for me. I have been investing in the market full time for the past seven years, living off of the market. I have 500 students. Um, so I am well accredited when it comes to experience, but I am not a financial advisor. But the ticker we're going to be talking about today is ABEO or Abio Therapeutics. If I'm saying that wrong, please somebody tell me down in the comment section. But at the end of the day, this is a company that I think is extremely undervalued. If we take a look, let me move my face so it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. If we take a look right now, they are trading at about $2.34 a share. They're up 15% today, which is pretty huge. A company like this is going to have huge fluctuations. Um, so if you're not a fan of volatility, you're probably going to want to skip this one over. Um, you can see that the fair value that Morningstar has, which these ratings are a little, you know, they're not perfect, but the fair value is $2.82. I've looked around at a lot of other analysts' expectations, and like the cheapest that a lot of people are saying the fair value is for Abio is around $3. Overall, their one star price is $9.17, which means that's personally where they would be like, the stock is not worth it. And I agree with it personally. We'll get to my target of where I'm going to sell. It's nowhere near that. However, their five star price is like 87 cents and below. Um, but overall, this company is a therapeutics company that works with a lot of different rare life-threatening genetic diseases, um, and they do a lot of like gene therapy. So you can do a full breakdown. We're going to go over their PowerPoint presentation a little bit. This is everything that they have in the pipeline. Sorry, somebody's calling me. Um, this is everything that they have in the pipeline as of right now. Uh, I highly recommend if you're going to be investing in this company, go through their investor presentation. For anybody who does not know what an investor presentation is, every single company that is public on the market should have one of these, whether it's a PowerPoint, whether it's, um, you know, a, a, a website, everybody should have one of these. Go through, take a look at this. Honestly, I don't have enough time to go through this right now, but a lot of things that they're doing with this company are extremely cool. They're working with some very rare diseases and it's not a company necessarily like CRISPR, but they are working with like gene therapies and different plasma-based products. Um, overall, 
they they do have some competitors out there. I don't know if any of you guys have ever looked into like applied genetics or morphic holdings. I would probably even say somebody like a CRISPR is a bit of a competitor to them. Every single one in this sector is trading below fair value. Um, so it seems overall like this entire sector of the market, even though it's a very small market, a lot of these companies are extremely small caps. At the end of the day, it seems like a lot of them are undervalued. If we take a look, there obviously is no dividend. A company like this is not going to have a dividend. They have a very small market cap of $229 million. Um, and overall, they do not have a consensus or a forward PE. If we take a look at their financials, um, let's see. You're going to see not crazy numbers. The past trailing 12 months, they've done $7 million in revenue, which is really absolutely nothing. Operating income is a loss of $50 million and their net income is a loss of $84 million. So this company is burning money. They're burning cash right now. And when you have a company that is this small, that is working in therapeutics, they are always going to burn cash to like nobody's extent. So if one little hiccup happens within this company, and I'll be completely honest with you, there's a huge chance that this company could go to zero, which is why we'll explain my position. I don't have a huge amount of money in this, but this is why I'm I'm investing accordingly, and I'll give my exact breakdown of what I'm planning to do. If we take a look at the balance sheet, they have $159 million on hand in Q3 2020. If we take a look at the liabilities, they have $44 million in liabilities, so a good amount of assets to liabilities, and the debt is about eight million dollars the balance sheet is actually not terrible what really worries me is that net operating income loss of 84 million dollars and you can see that year over year it is getting worse and worse so in 2017 they were burning 27 million 2018 they were burning 56 million 2019 they were burning 76 million and then the past 12 months they're burning 84 million dollars which is absolutely insane so over the years, what you really want to see with a company is that they are burning less money. Like if you look at a company like Uber that still is burning a ton of cash, they're burning at least less money year over year. This company is burning more and more money. However, the amount of money that has to go into the research and design, well, not design, but just the research for this type of company is absolutely insane. Therapeutics companies and biopharm companies go through so much money, it's nuts, which is what pulls and honestly scares investors away. Um, overall, this is extremely volatile. And I, I've said it before, this is not something that is an extremely safe investment by my own standards. Like overall, I think that this is a very, very risky investment, but we'll talk about the position that I have. Why is my computer doing this? There we go. We'll talk about the position that I currently have. You can see up here at the bottom or top right of your screen, I have 2,000 shares currently. Uh, right now, I do have a profit of about 800 bucks. At one point earlier, I actually had a profit of about $1,000. But at this point, I really don't care. I'm up about 20%. My average right now is $1.93. So you can see that like if we were to drag out our, our cursor here, I'm up about 21%. Now, technically taking a look at this, which I don't like to look at technicals for long-term investing, but at the end of the day, we're going to take a look right now. Technically, if we look at this, we have thin amounts of volume right here from $2.30 up to $2.70. Let's go to a daily chart so it's easier to see. Usually we can move between those thin amounts of volume pretty freaking quickly. So it seems like right now, I would not be surprised if within the next week we push about another 15 to 20%. Now, there is a huge resistance coming up here right around $3.40. My personal plan, since I have an average of $1.93, is if we could push up to $3.30, when we push up to $3.30, $3.40, I am planning to sell half of my position. So my goal is once I can get a 70, 80, 100% return on my money, I plan to sell my initial shares that I purchased, get all of my principal back, and then ride the free shares for the rest of my life or at least the next five or 10 years. This way, if the stock tanks and goes to zero, at the end of the day, I didn't lose any money because it's all profits. I don't plan to carry a eight, 10, $12,000 position. Right now I have about four grand in it. Um, if we could push up another, you know, 80, 100%, 
I'd have eight grand. I'll take my four out, put the other four back. So at the end of the day, guys, do your research. Take a look at this. This video is not made to like break down every aspect of the company, but kind of to bring it to your attention and see if it's something that you're potentially interested in investing in. If you are, I highly recommend you look into the investor presentation by the company and get a better understanding of exactly what they do and the different things that they have in the pipeline. For me, this is something I took a position on. I do feel confident about it, but at the end of the day, I really don't care if I lose all of my money and an investment like this. If you guys like videos like this, let me know. I bought into a couple of other um, smaller cap stocks like BCLI at AXAS. I'm looking at getting into VMware. They're not a smaller cap company. Mac, um, I did a video on them yesterday. If you're interested in these, let me know down below so I know what types of video you guys like. Um, if you do want to join my private stock market academy, get access to all my trades live as soon as I take them. Live stream with me every single day for the first hour of market open. Um, Live stream, like I said, with me and the team, you get access to our Discord with 490 members, and you also get access to 60 hours of courses and lectures that will teach you everything from the absolute basics to everything that I know. Like I said before, I've been living off the market for the past seven years, and I fortunately have been able to do what 90% of people are unable to do. So thank you guys for all of the support. Hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you guys next time.